My name is Tom Bickford and I'm the director of Maine Robotics. I wanted to spend a couple of minutes talking to you about our summer camp program. Since 2005, Maine Robotics has been providing summer camps across the state. We take in children who are interested in engineering, science, computers, and we teach them about engineering and computer programming in an age-appropriate and summer-friendly manner. Kids have a great time, but they learn an awful lot. Most of the time, without even really thinking about it, of it being a, a learning process. All kids want to learn how to build and program and create things that use their imagination to, to put it out there and, and end up with something that they created. That's what we do in our camps. Some children come in with more skill than others. They've done it before, or they've worked at their schools, or maybe they even have a robotics kit from Lego at their house. We work with children regardless of their background, and we try to bring them so that they are more empowered and more literate in the sciences of engineering and computer science. Our basic week when the children come in for at least a beginner's camp is that we start on Monday with the very basics of how to put together a Lego robot. And you have to understand that when Lego first looked at building a robotics kit, they worked with MIT and Tufts University, National Instrumentation, and the Lego Group, and they came together with a product that was age appropriate and designed for upper elementary and middle schools to develop that ability to build and create actual robots using nothing but Lego materials and then program it on a computer, download that onto your robot, and when you hit run, then it does what you want. So on Monday, we start off with a little bit of instruction and get to know the children, and by lunchtime, almost everybody has built a basic, simple robot and has started to learn how to program it. We take a lunch break. After lunch, we come back, and after lunch each day, the instructors at our camp will give a short, usually 15, 20 minutes, presentation on either a current topic in engineering or computers, could be even broader and just in science, often has to do with robotics. It doesn't have to do with Lego robotics, but it has to do with the real world of engineering and computers. Uh, last summer when the oil spill in the Gulf was occurring and they were using robotics to try to solve that, then that was a common topic each week because it was current and in the news and children could relate to it. Other topics might be more historic and they might talk about Charles Babbage and Ava Lovelace, Ada Lovelace who built and programmed the world's first mechanical computer back in the 1830s. So each day after lunch the children come back in, we usually take them outside for lunch, bring, bring them back in afterwards, sit them down and they have an opportunity to actually learn some real-world engineering and programming. Then it's back to work and building on additional skills that we started with at the beginning of the day. Usually in the morning there will be three, four, five different things that we're hoping the children will try to accomplish during the day. On Monday it's almost all dead reckoning, which means that they program their robot to move forward, turn, do some circles, go around a box, and the whole idea is to get them understanding how to control their robot using the computer. Tuesday and Wednesday we start adding in the sensors. There are light sensors, touch sensors, ultrasonic sensors, so that it can start to have feedback from its environment. We usually have more things than the majority of the students can do in one day, and so some students won't make it through all those lists and that's fine. We expect that and on the next day they don't have to go back and finish what they missed the day before. They start new and fresh and there's never a feeling that oh you didn't finish Monday so you better finish that up and you're going to get farther and farther behind. You just get as far as you can on a particular day. If your child or the camper gets all the way through the things that are assigned or or people are working on that day, then at the end of the day they have free build time when they can go and try to either play with their robot, get it to do some additional things, build something else out of Legos, or we have some websites that they can visit and get building directions for other projects so that they can expand their building and programming abilities. 
Every day before lunch and every day at the end of the day, the children have to clean up their area, put the spare parts back, and that way we're ready for the next day. Usually, we invite uh, informally adults, parents to come in and come in a little early on Wednesday or Thursday afternoon before you pick, pick up your children and let them explain what they've been working on. You can do this anytime during the week. Unfortunately, Friday afternoon is not the best time to come visit because it takes a while to put everything away and we can't wait until the 3.30 when the camp ends to put it away because it would take at least another 30 or 40 minutes. So if you want to see what they're doing, come in either early, uh, any of the afternoons except Friday, or stay on a, on a, after you drop them off and let them explain what they did the day before. Almost all children want an audience for them to tell what it is that they've been learning and what it is that they've been building. That's pretty much how our week goes. We start them off. Every day they have new assignments that they can work on. We usually call them missions. We get some educational components in after lunch. They have a chance to go outside at lunchtime, burn off some calories. And by the end of the day, they usually have to be pulled out by their parents and don't expect, uh, don't be surprised if they go home and spend their afternoon and into the evening playing with more Legos with other friends because they've been having such a good time creating things.